When you hear the name The Green Book, you probably think of the Golden Globe winning film featuring local star Von Lewis as Bobby Rydell. But what you might not have known is that the title gets its name from the Jim Crow era in a directory used by many African Americans. North Carolina African American Heritage Commission Director Angela Thorpe spoke to the Society about the Jim Crow era and the Green Book, a directory that established who was willing and able to serve blacks. It included a list of restaurants, hotels, beauty parlors, and tourist homes inside and outside this country. It gave African Americans a way to identify safe spaces of refuge. There were three locations in New Bern you could find in the Green Book. Thorpe explained the importance of making sure locations found in the Green Book are not forgotten. We we are in an era uh, where, yet again, a number of our black spaces um, are being demolished, right? We see it um, with gentrification throughout our communities and across the country. We've seen it with urban renewal in the past, and so um, I think this takes um, really heightens the issue um, and the matter that it's really important to preserve our spaces. In speaking with Angela, she also told me that the Green Book was created by Victor Hugo Green in 1936. In New Bern, Corey Johnson for News Channel 12.